Hello and welcome to Talent Sprint. In this session of uh, geography, we shall discuss the part 6 of Earth topic that is rocks. So, how much do we know about rocks? We shall discuss now. So, first, generally the land composition on Earth is only 21%, sorry, 29%, and the water composition is 71%. That means only 29% is land on Earth. So, out of that land, we have various landforms like rocks, mountains, hills, plains, plateaus, all these things on these only only on 29% uh, of land, right? So, this land contains various minerals. Uh, it, uh, our earth contains mainly, the interior of the earth contains mainly oxygen, silicon, aluminium, iron, calcium, sodium, potassium and magnesium. These are the major elements in the earth's interior. Okay, generally we have crust, mantle and core. In that divisions we have these eight minerals and they make up 98% of the total crust of the earth's surface. Okay, and other uh, include like titanium, hydrogen, phosphorus, manganese, sulfur, carbon, and nickel and others. These are the other minerals. But majorly we have these eight minerals. Okay, remember all these eight. We shall see how much percentage they are in. Next, Earth's crust composition. So in the Earth's crust, we have the highest composition as that of oxygen with around 47% and next is silicon, next is aluminium and next is iron. Okay, the first four are very important and next is calcium, sodium, potassium and magnesium. We already discussed these eight elements. Okay, so remember the four, first element is oxygen with 47%, next silicon, next aluminium, next iron. Okay, these are very repeated questions asked about the first four elements in the earth's crust. Next is Earth's entire composition, including atmosphere. Generally, in the previous uh, slide, we have seen only the Earth's crust. Now, we shall discuss about the Earth's entire composition along with atmosphere. In atmosphere also, we have some components. So, highest component is the iron with 34.6%. Next comes oxygen. Next comes silicon. And next comes magnesium so iron oxygen silicon and magnesium are the top four elements in the total entire that is total earth's composition including atmosphere and including crust earth's crust okay so next moving on to classification of rocks so how these rocks are formed how they vary in nature so there are three types of rock we shall see what are those so first the, those three are igneous, sedimentary and metamorphic rocks. So, moving on to igneous rocks. So, how these are formed? Generally, these are formed because of the magma. Suppose if it cools inside, I have already told you in the previous volcanoes topic, if it cools inside, it forms igneous, sorry, intrusive or plutonic rocks. If the lava cools outside, it is called extrusive or uh, igneous rocks okay based on cooling mechanism these rocks are classified so igneous rocks are generally based on the uh, magma or lava schooling okay so intrusive or plutonic rocks i've already told you these rocks will cool inside because of the magma which is cooling inside so when these magma cools inside the earth it will form intrusive or plutonic rocks but we need igneous rocks or extrusive rocks so when the magma comes out of the earth it will form lava that is it is called as lava so when the lava cools outside it will form extrusive or igneous rocks and the cooling rate is faster because it is outside and uh, the grains form will be very small and examples of Intrusive or uh, plutonic rocks are, I've already told you, granite and extrusive or igneous rocks are basalt. Okay, remember this. Moving on to next classification of rocks, that is sedimentary rocks. So sedimentary rocks, how they are formed? These are formed by the various mechanisms. Generally, we call uh, mechanism called, we have a mechanism called weathering. Okay, weathering means breakage of rocks. It may be physical weathering or uh, artificial weathering. Suppose one rock will be breaking into pieces because of temperature or some water pushes it. 
right so the various reasons the rocks may break so when these break due to high pressure and temperature and during uh, chemicalness chemical composition or chemical formations so these rocks will be formed those are sedimentary rocks okay generally we can say the chemical reaction which will take place is high in sedimentary rocks okay so there are different types of sedimentary rocks but the first is mechanically formed so there will be no external agent suppose two rocks collide each other after some days they will get joined and form a new rock that is mechanical formation there is no external agent so examples are sandstone so small you see in this deserts you have sand right so uh, sand is very fine in uh, nature but sometimes uh, sometimes you'll see a small uh, larger sand so that is formed because of mechanical contacting okay mechanical adhesion okay mechanically they are binded and they will form a larger rock that is a sandstone so sandstone conglomerate limestone shale loess in deserts all these are examples of mechanically formed sedimentary rocks next is chemically formed chemically means chemical reaction will take place suppose uh, there is a lot of ice at a place so because of thawing of ice the ice will freeze so because of thawing or ice the uh, ice may break some rocks and different uh, rock composition may be formed like that we have chert limestone halite and potash all these are formed due to chemically uh, chemical reactions and next is organically formed organically formed means because of like uh, we have plant and animal matter suppose i decay all this plant and animal matter after uh, 50 to 100 years it will form into coal petrol natural gas all these are formed these are organically formed so generally plant and animal matter decaying is involved in organically formed sedimentary rocks so examples include geyserite chalk limestone coal coal is a very best example so near coal you have a petroleum natural gas all these are at one place only because of the dead plant and animal matter which has decayed long back so that's why we need to grow a lot of forests or else we will be in shortfall of these minerals okay next is metamorphic rocks so first we have seen igneous rocks next we have seen sedimentary rocks and next is metamorphic rocks so both igneous and sedimentary rocks will be undergoing high pressure temperature and volume changes and become metamorphic rocks so due to high temperature and pressure and volume changes these metamorphic rocks are formed so this is a rock cycle okay there is no particular cycle igneous will form uh, metamorphic metamorphic will form sedimentary sedimentary will form igneous so this is a rock cycle we shall discuss that cycle so metamorphic means due to heavy pressure and temperature these rocks are formed when they bu get buried uh, inside the earth or when they are outside the earth they can take place at, at any places okay so this is a very uh, repeatedly asked question so granite after very high temperature and pressure it will convert to gneiss okay a limestone to marble shale to cyst and uh, sandstone to quartzite and coal to anthracite so granite to gneiss shale to cyst coal to anthracite limestone to marble these are some of the examples of metamorphic rock formation so igneous or sedimentary rocks will be converted into metamorphic rocks after high pressure and temperature and volume changes because of various reasons maybe natural and artificial so these are the three rocks igneous sedimentary and metamorphic rocks so can you tell me granite is an example of igneous or uh, sedimentary or metamorphic rock yes igneous rock marble is an example of metamorphic rock limestone is an example of sedimentary rock so you need to remember all of these okay moving on to rock cycle just i want to explain this is a cycle always igneous will become metam sedimentary sedimentary will become metamorphic metamorphic will become igneous so this cycle will be repeating in nature okay no rock will be of permanently igneous or permanently sedimentary 
or permanently metamorphic uh, moving on to earth's rock composition you need to know how many uh, how much of igneous rock is present or how much is sedimentary or how much is metamorphic rock so generally regarding earth's rock composition uh, the highest component is of igneous rock then comes metamorphic and then comes sedimentary so hope you have learned enough things about uh, rocks in this topic we shall meet in the next topic thank you so much